Hi everyone, it's Nicole and welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. It's the first one of 2016 and I'm going to start off with using um, a template from the Crafters Workshop and some light paste. And the reason I didn't show you any supplies because I had no idea what I was going to work and I thought, well, you know what? The paste has to dry and anyway, so let's get this on some watercolor paper and then I can go find my supplies and it doesn't seem like I'm wasting my time. <laughs> I find that working page by page like this is a lot of waste of time. Um, I've been working with kits for so long that, you know, once either whether you put a kit together or you have a, you know, you buy a pre-made kit, Everything is all there. You don't have to go digging through your stash every time to make one page. Like literally this took me about 45 minutes to decide what I wanted to do, what collection I wanted to work with, and you know, stickers and stamp sets and watercolors and all that stuff. And so even though I'm going to be scrapping for my stash, I think I'm going to make, uh, you know, kits and then scrap from that and then I'll just draw from that to do my watercolor Wednesdays and and my Saturdays for a whole month because um it's it's gonna save on time and you know time is precious so what I decided to do was where it's watercolor Wednesday and I want to use some water and some color I decided to work with some distress inks and the ones that I chose are all different shades of um, teals and the first one is Lucky Clover the second one is Evergreen Bow and the third one is Cracked Pistachio and they're all from Tim Holtz and one of them the Cracked Pistachio actually two of them Cracked Pistachio and Lucky Clover are both the colors that they released every month. So I just put the Distress ink on a Stampin' Block. I added some water to make it more fluid. And then I'm adding some colors in three areas to the layout. And then I'm adding some splatters at the same time. And I'm going to do the three colors. And once I do the three colors, um, I also brought, I'm going to go get at some point from Shimmers, some Inklings and some Creamies. And the Inklings are Freshly Minted and Blue Lagoon. And the Creamies is Luck of the Irish. And the difference between the Creamies and the Inklings is the Inklings has a little bit of shimmer and the Creamies don't. They're as equally beautiful. It's just that one of them adds a little bit of shimmer to your page and the other one doesn't. So with those, um, they come dry and that's what I like because you don't have to worry about them drying up and then you can never use them again, right? They are dry. And what you need to do is add water to activate the color. Now, it's supposed to turn it into like a paint. Mine just basically um, activates the top layer of it and I get some color but it doesn't turn the whole thing into a paint and I'm okay with that because I leave them open and let them dry out every single time I use them and then that way they're going to last me forever <laughs> and um, so I just add a little bit of water activate it and then use it on the layout as you saw and it's just adding again just more different shades of teal and I'm just adding uh, different shades sort of everywhere in three spots and I always keep mixing the the covers I wish they had the name of the paint on the container and not the label because to tell you the truth, at this point, I don't know if I have the right color with the right label because I've used them so much and then I realized, darn, I've kind of opened the, um, the cover and kind of put it in a place where I don't know where they match. But anyway, it's a small problem, but it would just make it easier um, for narrating videos. Now, I also have some colorings and I have the well blew me down and the other one is oh say can you see 
and I'm going to add some more splatters and those are just like mist and I added some mist just throughout the whole you know everywhere <laughs> and now I'm going to dry it and because I have you know um the light modeling paste it and then some colors it is taking a bit of time to dry now on top of that I'm going to take a heart template and that one I'm not really sure where it comes from I think it's stamping up and then I'm going to take again some products from shimmers and they're called textures and dazzlers and the textures has real texture in it the one I'm using right now is dazzlers and it's called see you in the morning and that's just like um, a modeling paste very shimmery and then the the other one is textures and it really has like gritty stuff inside and that one is called patina and I'm just using a little bit of both just to add different shades of heart throughout the uh, the layout and once everything is done you see a heart peeking out here and there and that was sort of the effect that I wanted because I really wasn't sure how big my photo cluster was going to be now to clean that off I find it really is kind of sticky stuff I just use some stamping mist and you know what you would use to clean some stamps off and I just clean off the template and it does two things it cleans off your mat and it cleans off your template so I have to wait for that stuff to dry anyway so I might as well clean off my template now but I would suggest that you do it anyway because man once that stuff gets hard on your template oh it's really difficult to to clean off so now I had pulled while that stuff is drying I kind of put the heat tool on it but really it didn't dry it up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work independently on my photo and that's not a really great photo. I had taken that actually at the end of 2015. I think it was on December 28th. And I was just finishing work. And I just decided to snap a selfie while I was waiting for my coworkers. Because a couple nights uh, a week, I travel with some girls that live a little further than me. So they pick me up on the way by. And it's awesome when you do that on a night shift because... Uh, night shifts are hard as it is so if you can have someone to travel home um, it makes coming home a whole lot easier but anyway I just snapped a selfie and that was really the latest photo I had of myself and the, the um, layout today is about my goals of 2016 so I guess while I'm just playing around with the um, rest of the layout and really all I did was I took some um, pattern papers from Dear Lizzie documentary and the 6x6 and the 12 by 12 I also grabbed the sticker sheet from the Dear Lizzie documentary and then I got I took some stickers from Chamel the letters in black are going to be from Heidi Swap and also in white one of them is you can color them in but I don't end up coloring them in and then I take some um enamel dots also from my stash so while I'm doing that first of all I'm going to let you know that this page took me a little bit over an hour so that's not too too bad I did it yesterday which was before a night shift because that was the only way that I was going to be able to get it done in time for uploading today for Wednesday and then I worked last night and then I set my alarm a little earlier so that I could do the voiceover and all that being said, this page is about my goals for 2016. I always try to do that page in the early January and not because they're resolutions. I'm not calling them resolutions because I reserve the right to change these throughout the year and add to them, right? Because resolutions, for me anyway, they're made to be broken. But goals, you can change your goals. You can modify them. You can add to them. And you can tweak them because what, um, you know, might sound like a good goal right now, you say, hoof, that was totally unrealistic and you kind of modify it. 
So I'm going to read you some of my goals that I have for 2016. And what I'm going to do is at the top cluster, I'm going to add a little uh, tab there. And I'm going to put a 4 by 6 Project Life card in behind my whole layout. And that's where I'm going to house my, um, my list. And the reason is it's going to be big, one. And two, um, you know, it's 4 by 6 and then I can add to it or scratch it out and it won't affect um, my page whatsoever. So here we go. Here are some goals. And some of these goals are scrappy goals and some of these goals are life goals, you know, for my personal life. So the first one that I put down was complete 150 pages on YouTube. And if you've been following me for a bit, a couple years ago, my goal was 240 pages which I achieved. Last year I brought it down to 180 which I achieved but it was super hard and um, 18 of those pages was completed in uh, if you look on my YouTube channel it says 162 out of 180 but I did a class that had 18 pages in it so I actually achieved my goal of 180 80 pages done. So this why this year I put 150 pages on YouTube because then I'm going to have some personal goals for my classes. Then uh, I jump like these. I just wrote them down as I was thinking about them. And so it's, you know, some of it is for uh, YouTube and scrapbooking and some of them I jump all over the place. So the second one is I need to get back on the treadmill. I'm going to start with 5,000 5, steps per day to get to a total of 10,000 steps a day, which this is where it differs from last year. Last year, I had put up to 14,000 steps. Well, those of you that do steps per day, that's a lot of steps. 10,000 is the recommended, so that's what I'm going to do. And if I can do more, that's perfect. And then usually what I do is when once I get on the treadmill, I don't get off until I reach my daily goal. So I usually end up going above the 10,000 anyway, but 14,000 is a lot. The day that we climbed the mountain, I did 15,000 steps. So, you know, that's a lot of steps in a day. And then I put to eat better. My goodness, doing shift work and stuff, sometimes the way we eat is not good. So I need to make sure that I prep my meals for the when I work and um, you know that I eat better even when I'm working. Now um, I want to get s at least six classes done in 2016. So that's one every two months. And then I just put one just get fit. Another goal is to start going to the gym. I've been paying for my membership, which is not too expensive anyway through work. We pay $10, $10 a month. So I figured, you know what, it's not that much. So I'm gonna, just going to pay it and maybe it's going to kick my butt to get to the gym. I still haven't done it, but I need to get started this month. And another goal is to journal on the pages as I make the page. And... Um, now this one I didn't do it because I didn't have my goals written out when I made the page yesterday and I knew if I didn't do the page it just wasn't going to get done for today. But I went last night while I was working and I wrote my goals out so now I just have to write it out on a piece of a 4x6 recipe, um, project life card and I just need to stick it in behind the page. That won't take me any time at all. And then I put use my planners more. I have a total of three planners and I'm going to share them on YouTube with you and what I plan to do with all of them. And I need to use them more. Um, and to do something with my one little word. Now, hopefully I have enough time here because I want to talk about that a little bit more. Uh, I'm debating between two words and uh, so I'll do a page for Saturday and I'm going to tell you what my word is going to be and why. And that's why I'm just going to leave it at that. And because uh, I have a lot more to say about that. And then I want to do 12 months of PL, which is Project Life. But I want to do a double page per month. That's it. Not weekly, just January, February, March. And this year, again, I want to do... Um, we want to climb a mountain and that's why the whole getting fit and doing the steps because last year doing the treadmill really helped. Now whether it's Mount Katahdin which is only a few hours away from here 
or Mount Washington. We just want to climb a mountain again with my second daughter. She wants to do it. Now, um, just personal goals at home. I want to declutter one room per month. So I want to pick a room in a month and just go nuts into it and just get rid of stuff that we are not using and just declutter. And I want to try two new recipes a month because I want to try this clean eating. And I want to put all my layouts that are completed into albums. That's a huge goal because before I start putting my uh, my pages away, I'm going to take a picture of how many pages I have out of albums. I want to journal on all the previous layouts from past years that I didn't journal on before I put them into albums. And my one of my biggest goals this year is a work one is to be able to be casual by the end of uh, by the fall. And that's going to complete this layout and just in time, I'm adding some Bombay ink. It's a Paige Martin ink, India ink in black. And then I use some paint brushes at first for the little drips. And then I use the little thing that comes in it to make the big blobs. And that's it. The page is done. So if you enjoyed this page, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Bye.